Alright, so we're talking about the Marvel Gamer vs. Future Fight, the Punisher helmet. So obviously it's just a reskin of the Iron Man War Machine helmet, but my god does it look so good. And as you'll see, the weathering, as you see on the picture, looks really good. But when you see the helmet itself, the weathering does not even look that good. As I, as I will show you. And you know, I got this for 100 bucks at Best Buy. Not so bad. I figured these would be sold out like most of the helmets usually are, but nah. Sorry, I had to like, yawn a little bit. And it does come with a head strap inside. I had to take it out because... Could my head fit with it? Yes, but it was aligning the faceplate wrong so I took it out fits perfect snug I like it and with most of these helmets I usually have to take the head straps out anyways and as you'll see on the instructions you can actually take the head strap out which to me like take it out easily because I remember on one of the helmets I had you could not take it out so I had to rip that thing out and just like the Star Lord helmet you click the power button inside the helmet to dim the lights or turn it off the faceplate is magnetically sealed on as you can see you can take the head strap off and you'll see in that picture O2 the back panel opens up but for me as I'll go into later I had to seal that all the way so here's the helmet and I leave it propped open like this on my desk just because it looks so cool and, you know, I don't really care for the original Iron Man or War Machine helmet just because it's so plain. But this one, definitely, I, I like this uh, this style. I'm also a huge fan of the Punisher, so it's kind of like a given. You know, the weathering overall does not look bad at all. It's just on the faceplate. It just, it does not look like the damn picture. And, you know, since it is magnetically sealed, just the faceplate pops off. It's not like it uh, slides or anything. And so, as you see here, you look. There's basically no weathering on it. It's just weird stain marks. Like, someone with, like, a bloody hand touched his face and it dried on. Or, like, got pushed into dirt or mud. So, I'm just like, okay, you know, whatever. Like, I guess it's not the worst thing, but... It looks a little bit more pristine than the picture. And as you'll see, the jaw, because it pops out and in, but on mine, as you can see, look, it never fully closes. I mean, it's it's sealed, but it's not fully sealing. But you'll pop it out. You can bend it down so it gives you that full open mask look. Um, I don't really care to do that. The only reason I pop it, the jaw out is to get my head in. The back panel, as you'll see... It's supposed to open back, but with my, I don't know what is the matter, but I could not for the life of me get it to close. You know, the Ant-Man helmet was atrocious about it. I returned that helmet within about 10 minutes of buying it. Um, the Star-Lord helmet was just as bad about it. I mean, come on, dude. Like, you're making people pay $100 or more, and you can't even get the locking mechanism correct. So, yeah, it's just a little gripe. Okay, so as you can see, this is it on my head, and, you know, I did have to take the head straps out because my head is big, and in all these Marvel Legends or um, Black Series helmets, I've always had to take those stupid straps out. Luckily, in the Star-Lord helmet, it didn't have one, so that fit pretty good, but... This one, the strap was just also misaligning where my face was going within this, and this, this plate, that, oh, you know, I feel like every helmet has this problem where this part is supposed to pop out, you know, I guess, because you'd keep this closed and then close that, but the locking mechanism sucks so bad. Just like the Star-Lord helmet where it would never pop into place correctly. Same with the, the Ant-Man helmet was the worst. Where you, I mean, I couldn't even wear it because it kept popping off, you know? 
it's really stupid for them to not create either a better magnetic locking mechanism or I don't know something it's like you're charging people over a hundred dollars for this shit and you seem to still not be able to get the locking mechanism down so that kind of pissed me off but so I I don't even know if you can see it anywhere luckily because it's clear uh, I super glued it this panel so now this is this this is not moving and because you can just pull this out you know because what I do is basically just pull the panel out so not too bad and so people like me with a big head you'll want to take the straps out and you know glue this or tape it whatever you know whatever you want to do and this the faceplate just sits up here it's all magnetically sealed as you'll see on the inside the eyes look very similar to the Star Lord eyes very similar lights over the same way the one thing the Star Lord helmet had which I wish they would somehow find a way to incorporate in into these is the Wi-Fi speaker or at least a voice changer or something but the easiest way I've found to put this on is to slide it down on the mouthpiece and then put it up so as you can see the lights you know it makes a noise and it lights up the moment you put it into place and there's a button on the right on the left side right here on the inside so you can turn the lights off turn back on and to take the faceplate off it's these two little it sticks out a little bit you push these down and then grab the mask and then boom you know I saw some reviews from people saying that uh, they were having trouble like the mag you know magnets weren't staying on well whatever I mean the magnets been staying on well for me I mean I'm not gonna go for a fucking five mile jog with this on but I mean I've been able to walk around just fine it unfortunately with most masks because I wear glasses I can't I can wear my glasses with it open like this this is awesome but with the mask Closed? No. I cannot. <sighs> but, I mean, I do enjoy it, you know. I got my Punisher shirt on. I don't know if you can see, but... Um, it's cool. Uh, as you can see, as I show it off, the... the faceplate... Um, it's supposed to look withered, but this looks like mud or dried blood, I'm not sure what it's supposed to be. It looks um, pretty uh, horribly paint job. Not that I can complain too much. Um, I wish it was, I wish these weren't. <sighs> Literally will never stop yawning. I really wish these weren't a hundred dollars or more because it's like, eh. This more feels like 80, 60, like that kind of feeling because I got the Mandalorian helmet coming too. And I don't even know if that's gonna fit, but you know, it's like 120 bucks. And with this, I was fortunate enough that for someone like me with a huge head, I mean, you take out the, the head straps. I mean, if it's, if I'm sure it looks pretty snug and tight on me right here, I mean, it's it's on my chin my chin I guess does stick out a little bit but it's on my chin it's I mean it's on there and I can't get it off unless I move this so it's nice and snug if you got a huge head like me I got kind of like a wide head as well wide and you know big potato head so I would say if you can find it like I did as a Hundred bucks. I mean, uh, I know hundred bucks isn't just like th throw away money. I'm not trying to act like you just throw away money, but I was at a point where a hundred bucks I could spend and it wasn't going to kill me. So, yeah, you know, 
I like the Punisher. I love this design. I want to get the Hot Toys figure at some point. And so if you're a fan of the Punisher, Iron Man, whatever, I mean, I would say get this. It's not bad, you know. And then if you can make your own armor or some of that, I don't know how to do that. But if you know how to do that, then I mean, more power to you. So I'd say go check it out. And that's probably going to be it for this video. I wasn't trying to make it too long and all these, I was trying to find the best time for the best lighting. So yeah, as always, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Legitimately do. Like after finally giving a crap about trying to actually make stuff on YouTube, it's, it's you know, it's getting there slowly but surely. I'm in no rush, but it's nice to see feedback and views and I mean I would like to have more interactions with people watching that would definitely be cool like commenting talking whatever but yeah in the meantime thanks for watching and I am gonna be out